All right, Shalom. Shalom. To begin this lesson, we want to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakudash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, a citation to sincere Akim, pushing his truth and all truth sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth diligently. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother uh, Awar, and with me? My brother Yura Arya. All right, and hey, man, you know, the Lord got us, you know, the Lord got us together, all right? You know, we, we just got, you know, we in the midst of fellowship with other brothers. All right. And hey, the spirit just hit me out of nowhere, man. I was playing, you know, lesson titles in my notes, you know, for lessons that I want to hit, you know, whenever the spirit allowed me to hit them. And hey, man, you know, as I was doing it, <laughs> the spirit just hit me and the spirit just made me ask the brother, hey, bro, you want to do a lesson? And the brother was like, shit, let's do it, you know? So, hey, you know, one of the the lessons, the title is one of the lessons I wrote down, and that's what we're going to be getting into. Is only the chosen ones will escape the the heavy fire that's coming. All right, and the chosen ones are the elect men. All right, the elect men, women, and children are right, they're going to be the ones that's going to be able to escape the fire that's that heavy fire that's coming, man. All right, that fire that I'm talking about is the fire from the nuclear missiles, man. Because hey, these nukes is going to hit, man. All right, they're going to hit. All right, but hey, the elect. All right, the elect, all right, the chosen, the chosen ones, they're going to escape that fire, man. All right, they're going to enter into the, the chambers, as the scriptures say, all right, till the indignation be over, over, overcome, all right, till the indignation be over. All right, we're going to enter into those chambers, okay? Only with thy eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked, all right? And the sea of glass mingled with fire, you know, those different scriptures, man. Okay, and this is not gonna be a quick lesson. I ain't gonna to speak too too much. We are gonna get right into the scriptures. You know, a quick and short, edifying lesson through the spirit by Yahweh Shai. You know, let's get into it. All right. Um, what you got, bro? Revelation 15. Uh, yeah. Whatever one you wanna start with, bro. If not, uh, yeah, you got it. Revelation 15. Um. I'm sorry, verse 1. Come. It's 50 verse 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, a great marvelous seven angels having the seven last plagues, mm -hmm. where in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High. Sure. And I saw it where, it, and, and I saw it where a sea of glass was mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beasts, right. and over his image, and over his mark, mm -hmm. and over the number of his name, and the sin of his, and, and stand on the sea of glass having harps in the Most High. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you're going to have individuals that got the victory over those different things. And those that have the victory over those different things are the chosen. Yeah. All right. So uh, they, they, those that's going to have those that's going to have victory over those different things. They are the cho they are the chosen. All right. And the chosen, they're going to be see They're going to be looking down at this place be destroyed. OK, they're not going to partake of the second death. All right. They're not going to need to partake of the judgment of two thirds. All right. And, you know, the heathens going to partake in, all right, which is fire. They ain't going to need to partake in that, all right? Because what? You know, <laughs> they're the chosen, all right? And they remain faithful unto the end, man. Okay, I got something real quick. This is Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, enter thou into the chambers, thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord Yahweh cometh cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth from their iniquity the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain right so the people of the lord they're going to enter into the chamber the chambers the chariots man all right they ain't gonna need to uh <laughs> they're not gonna partake in the judgment that the wicked the, the wicked individuals are going to partake in man all right it says Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. So, you know, we're going to be in those chariots, man, you know, until the indignation is over, man. Okay? We're going to be being protected by Yahweh by Shemiah mm Shai. -hmm. All right? You got it, bro. We're going to be saying that we're going to be protected by uh, Yahweh Shai. You know, that's why it's, that's why scripture is saying Psalm 91. Mm -hmm. One with our eyes shall I see the result. The, 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 um, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it right here. Huh. Psalm 91, verse 8. Only with that eye shall thou behold and see the result of wicked. Mm -hmm. Right, man. Because hey, guess why? Hey, because the Lord came through for us, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and He delivered us out of those, out of those troubles, man. Sure. You know, and we're gonna see the destruction of this place, man. Through what? The, the chariots, man. Through that sea of glass, man. Looking down upon Babylon the Great being destroyed with nuclear fire, man. That's right. You know, we're gonna see it, man. All right, we're gonna be blessed to actually see it, man. All right, because you know, <laughs> what's to come isn't. Lord willing, we are the chosen. What's to come is not for us. All right, it's not for us, man. We're gonna receive. The good reward, 
all right, which is being beamed up, you know, going into those chariots, man, receiving new bodies, all right, you know, singing the song of Moses. That's for us, low when we part of the low when we are the chosen, all right. all right. But as for the wicked, their reward is destruction. Right. That's why in the scriptures just say, um, I've created the wicked for the day of evil. Right. Exactly. Right. So are you doing the work of Yahweh Shem Yashai? <laughs> Death and destruction and fire is not for you, man. Right. You know, it's just for the wicked. It's, it's for those who don't want to hearken. Those who want to continue their wickedness, man. Right. You know, and that's why that verse clearly says that, man. That's right. You know, I've created the wicked for the day of evil, for the for, for the day of bad time, Jacob's trouble, mm -hmm. pestilence. You know, uh, right. love of many washing cold. The right. nukes, you know, and the nukes coming out. Those are those are that is the reward of the wicked, man. Exactly. You know, there's two. There's two rewards. You know, the mm -hmm. reward of the wicked and the reward of the righteous. You know. That's right. And, and lowly, the, the men continue. We're gonna be saved from that fire that's coming. That's right. You know, and that's gonna be our righteous reward. <laughs> that's right. Hey, to back you up, what Revelation twenty-two and twelve tells you tells you, "Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is to give every man according to his that's work." Right. All right. So yeah, how is Shai's coming to, with a reward for everybody? And low one, we part, we part. No one we're of that good reward. Because mm -hmm. when you read Jude 1, it says, "Yeah, how is Shai coming with ten thousands of his saints, which are the angels, to execute judgment?" Mm -hmm. All right, low willing, that's not for us. Mm -hmm. Low willing, you know, low willing, Yahweh Shai and the angels are coming to execute, all right, salvation for us, mm -hmm. you know, if we continue to the end, man, all right. But this is Job chapter 5 and verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yeah, and seven there shall no evil touch thee, right? So, hey, we're going to be delivered, all right, before the seven trouble. All right, we're going to be in the chariots, all right? <laughs> we're going to be delivered before the seventh trouble, man. All right, what's the seventh trouble is those nuclear missiles, man. All right, it's the destruction, okay? We're going to be we're going to be delivered, man. Okay? The Lord's going to look out for us, man, if we're that chosen, man. Okay? Matter of fact, I got to read verse 17. Behold, happy is a man whom the most high corrected, therefore therefore despise not thou the chastising of the most high, and the Lord does correct us. The Lord does chastise us. So we are his sons. Mm -hmm. All right. And Lord willing, we are his faithful. All right. His faithful and his trustworthy sons. Okay. Verse 18. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth in his hands. Make whole. He shall deliver thee in six trouble, troubles. Yet in seven sh there shall no evil touch thee. Right. So we ain't going to. We ain't going to. The Lord going to deliver us. All right. We're going to be in the chariots before the seventh trouble, man. All right. We're not going to partake. All right, and that destruction that our the two thirds of our people and the heathens and Esau Edom is going to partake in. Why is that? Because what we were putting the Lord first, and we were doing what was pleasing to the Lord. Lord willing, we're going we're gonna to receive the uh, treatment of Enoch. All right, mm -hmm. he he pleased the Most High, therefore he was translated. All right, we're going to receive the the treatment of Elijah. Elijah was translated. Okay, because it's going to say there's some that stand here that shall not taste death, man. Mm -hmm. All right. They ain't gonna taste death, man. They gonna, they gonna, they ain't gonna taste death. And another thing too, they gonna get beamed up, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> you know you got something, bro. Yeah, I got something. Um, huh. You know, cause you know, scripture keeps it. It's the scripture speak about we keeping the word of the Lord's patience, man. Right, right. You know, cause we uh, we know destruction destruction is coming. That fire is coming, but before that fire is gonna be a. Uh, 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 the, one of the world's greatest tests, man. Right. You know, the one of the world's greatest uh, icebreaker that, that, that shows you if you if you believe in the Lord or not. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's going to determine if that fire is coming for you. Right. right. You know, mm -hmm. and, and it says that in Revelation three verse ten. Behold, no, slack you, because well, let me see. I'm gonna start at verse ten. Let me hit this turn on the point. Uh, Revelation three and verse ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which shall come upon the world to try them that dwell upon the world. Mm. Right, man. And you know, what's that, you know, what's that great temptation that's gonna come upon the world, man? Hey, that's gonna be the hour of the, the hour of temptation, man. Whether you're gonna choose to take that mark mm -hmm. or you're gonna believe in Yahweh by Shimia Shai, man. Right. And whatever decision you're gonna go whatever decision you're gonna make, gonna gonna determine your faith, man. That's you right. know, your your faith. Your, your fate, right, right, your, your, right. your fate, your, your future, yeah, your, your future, right. right. You know, is it, it, it's either you gonna not take it. You know, not taking and believe y'all about Shema so you gonna hey, you gonna take it, man, and get right. destroyed by that fire, right. you know. But hey, the the, the lake is not gonna take that, man. That's right. You know, so we not gonna be partaking in that fire, man. That's you know, that's right. And the elect, they gonna, you know, hold uh, they gonna hold fast that that which they have, which is faith, their mm -hmm. faith. All right, their faith, they not gonna. 
you know, let go of that. All right. You know, it says in verse 11, you know, when you, where you read, uh, you, well, you read verse 10, verse 11, it says, behold, I come quickly, hold that which thou hast, which is the, uh, your faith. All right. This truth that no man take thy crown. Mm -hmm. All right. The elect, they, they ain't going to, the elect ain't gonna, they ain't gonna fold, man. Alright, they ain't gonna fold, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna let, they ain't, even, they ain't gonna let their own self let them fold. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you are your worst enemy. Right. <laughs> enemy. They ain't gonna let their self fold, man. They, like, they gonna strive for the two fronts of death. They gonna trust in Yahweh Shem Yahweh and Yahweh Shem Yahweh gonna fight for them. And they gonna strive for the two fronts of death. And Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah gonna give them a crown, an everlasting crown. Mm -hmm. Alright, and low willing, we are those men. Right. Okay? So come, man. Anything you want to say, brother? Right. So hey, uh, something quick we want to get into through the spirit by Yahweh Shai. We're gonna we're gonna end off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. A citation to the sincere Akim, pushing truth and all truth sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth diligently. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom.